Hey, hey everybody, this is the Atlanta Gardener. I got my assistant here, my nephew Ellis, and I want to talk to you about fertilizer use. All right now, you got a lot of options. If you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, you'll see Miracle Grow, Manure, uh, you know, all kinds of different fertilizers, fish emulsion. Uh, this bat guano right here, you probably won't see that at Home Depot. You probably have to get it from uh, you know, a specialty store. I got it from a hydroponic store. But uh, each of them has its, its advantages and disadvantages. I want to talk about them. The uh, chemicals, fairly e easy to use, but the problem is, is that they have a uh, negative effect on the soil. Now, they're, a chemical fertilizer is uh, utilized by the plants almost instantly. So, pretty much just spray them on the plants and Within a few days, the nitrogen, potassium, or phosphorus that you want your plants to have is going to be in your soil. It's going to be used by the plants. The problem is, is that it's not available for very long. It leaches out of the soil within about two weeks, and you have to reapply it. And also, if you use too much, you can burn the plants. And it also makes your soil more acidic. There's certain chemicals within a chemical fertilizer that are damaging to earthworms. You have uh, boric acid, you have uh, urea, if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, boric acid, um, ammonium sulfate. If you look up these uh, ingredients, you'll see that they're, they're harmful to earthworms and they deter earthworms from, from being in, in your soil. And I mean, they're, they're a vital part of the garden, the outdoor garden. So for outdoor garden, I recommend natural organic fertilizers. Here you have earthworm castings. And this is basically just earthworm droppings. You see here, they're very rich, fine. You know, uh, they increase, they they uh, enhance the structure of your soil. You know, uh, I have here the bat guano, very high. Uh, this one is a high phosphorus. You see the 12 here, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And I, I'm using this because I want to stimulate, you know, the roots. Uh, fish fertilizer, that's a high nitrogen fertilizer. You can mix that with water. I got the chicken manure. Uh, There's all different kinds of fertilizer. And basically what you want to do is try to mimic what Mother Nature already does. Okay. Uh, basically, we had vegetables, fruits and vegetables before miracle grow. All right. So all you want to do is aid in the process of what's already being done. You see here I got my well I use most of it but this is uh, my compost tea and I got a bag of worm castings and this is the uh, the bat guano. Like I said I already, already used most of it. If you look at my garden everything here was a seedling one month ago. I planted this garden one month ago. I have with the exception of the sweet potatoes, everything I started uh, from seed by myself. And I have, you know, carrots, eggplants, cucumbers, green beans, just in this small space. Now, I know I packed a lot in this space, but I didn't use any chemical fertilizer. I'm not going to use any chemical fertilizer. And uh, if you dig, dig up some soil here. I don't have to dig up much. I'll find earthworms. Uh, I got all kind of, well, this is kind of wet. Well, I saw one. It's kind of small, but I just watered this part. It's, let me go to a drier part of the garden. Okay. Yeah, I got a bunch over here. Want to see earthworms? You want to see earthworms? That's a that's an indication of a healthy soil. I feel like I had to look a little bit too hard for that one, but different parts of the soil of my soil have more earthworms than others. But uh, if you look at the uh, the plant growth, everything here is healthy. And uh, earthworms are good for the microorganisms in your garden. 
They're good uh, for aeration of garden. They turn over the soil. The castings that they, uh, basically what they're going to do is when you put manure or any kind of fertilizer into your garden, the earthworms are going to, you know, they're going to consume that and they convert it to a form that's more readily usable for the plants. And there's also uh, other microorganisms within your garden that uh, benefit from the uh, presence of earthworms. And you also have uh, you know, other things like pill bugs and millipedes. It's all kind of bugs that are attracted to a garden that, that uses organic fertilizer. Those are my carrots. I don't now in my pots. I don't use uh, I don't use many much fertilizer. Well, I just use a quality organic potting mix. Yeah, yeah there's ants. They won't hurt anything. Where are my worms? I got I see pill bugs. Okay, here we go. All right, that's a jackpot right there. Yeah, one, two, three, four. All right, I'm not going to disturb them too much, but if you see a lot of worms in your garden, then that means you have healthy soil. If you don't have worms, then there's something like that part of my soil right there. You see, it was kind of flooded, um, which means there wasn't a lot of airflow. Worms don't want to be in, a, in flooded soil. That's why you usually see them in a heavy rain. They come up to the surface. So, uh, said, uh, I'm just going to you know, keep everything organic. Everything's healthy right now. And, uh, said, that's just my take on uh, organic fertilizer. Uh, chemicals. Chemicals are great for maybe a hydroponic system or anything like that. But I don't recommend it for... Uh, for an outdoor garden. In the long long term, they're gonna damage your soil, make the soil more acidic, and uh, eventually you'll be dependent solely on chemical fertilizer because the quality of your soil won't sustain the plants. So this is the Atlanta Gardener. This is my take on whether or not to use organic or chemical fertilizer. And uh, that's it. Appreciate it.